Robin, I happen to have a stack of prismatic shards. I'm not sure what age the cutoff is for those, but I'm certainly willing to give it a try. For the first time today, we have the ability to marry Robin. We never could before because she's married to Demetrius, and that's a big thing for some people. You're not Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. I'm Robin's sister Veronica, by the way. I'm managing the shop at the moment. Well, you couldn't do any worse than Robin. I wonder how Demetrius feels about all this so far. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Not a husband? Thanks for introducing yourself. You're welcome. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. Not as interested as your ex-wife is. Robin is currently living with Leah since she moved out of the carpenter shop. But she's not actually here and apparently they're sharing a bed, so maybe she's already found someone else. No time for you, idiot stick. I've got to go find Robin. She found a new spot to stand all day. Hi, nice to meet you. You probably already met my sister Veronica, but I'm Robin. I actually own the carpentry shop, but Veronica's been helping me out while I was taking an extended vacation. Extended vacation, I call it. One prismatic shard says that's a permanent vacation. This is for me? Wow, I absolutely love it. This is good. This is a good start. By the way, do I talk to you or your sister about upgrading my house so that it's suitable for marriage? I'll try your sister. In more ways than one. Don't worry, other Robin. You'll be next. While we're waiting for our house to be done. If you ever need any carpentry work done, just call me. I'd be more than happy to help out. Uh, about that. Your sister's currently built in my house, so... Good work. I almost forgot. Here you are. One iridium quality prismatic shard. And... Mm, these people don't get any. Interestingly, Leah still likes me as much as Robin does, and I've given Robin a whole lot of prismatic shards. So we need to fix this. We also have new heart events to take a look at. They start at 4. Veronica, I really need you to get to work on this house so I can marry your sister. Hi, how have you been lately? Good. If you need any work on the farm, just let us know. Right now sounds good. That house I'm paying you to build. I just realized how much ginger there is living in this house. Oh great, wet wood. I appreciate the setup, Robin, but I can't make that joke. Looks like a good day to curl up by the fire and stay inside instead. Or, you know, build the farmhouse for marriage, like neither you or your sister seem to want to do today. Where are you even going? Marnie's. Are you also having an affair with Mary Lewis? That's a stupid question. Of course she is. And while we're at it, we're just going to make her sister love us too, because I can. I feel like this is a new one because I don't think I've ever seen Robin dancing in the woods by herself before. But she's a pretty forgettable person overall. Hope you don't mind, I'm just going to stand here and watch for a while. What are you doing here, mumps? I just stroll by the woods every once in a while to see what kind of weird stuff people get up to. So far you're winning. How long were you standing there? Long enough to know how flexible you are. Don't you walk away from me. I've been lonely since the divorce. I enjoy dancing, but there's no one to dance with. I was lonely tonight, so I thought I'd come out here and dance where no one would see. That's got to be the most pathetic thing I've ever heard, and I know Shane. I'm pathetic, aren't I? Well, do you want the truth or a lie? Yeah, aren't you kind of old to be doing the flower dance anyway? Yeah, you're right. I'm so embarrassed. I'm an adult woman. It's time to act like one. Yeah, so go have an affair with Mary Lewis like all the other ones. Or me. Me works too. I don't know what's worse. Her dancing alone in the woods like that, or me standing there watching her dance alone in the woods like that. Hey, come back. I know I said I like oak wood. It's the most enjoyable to work with. But I love a dark cherry stain. It always looks incredible. If you ever want me to stain some of your furniture, let me know. I'd be happy to. Ever since the divorce, she just can't get her mind off the wood. Especially if I can pick out the stain myself. Any stains in my house will cause immediate divorce, and I'm not kidding. We have something going on. Hi, Mumps. I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood, Mumps? No, but I've got some your sister seems to want. But apparently we still have a heart event of some kind. Why are you even here, Mom? You chose to leave. I mean, can you blame her? There's a vampire living in the basement. Sebastian, that's not fair. I... I didn't... Well, to be fair, you kind of did. Oh, here comes Demetrius. Finally we get his thoughts on all this. By the way, that house expansion of mine is pretty much built for your wife. I heard yelling. What's going on? Nothing. I'm going to my room. A mom who leaves her kids doesn't love them, right? Depends on the situation. In your case, she doesn't. I... I'm sorry, Mom. Robin, I happen to have a stack of prismatic shards. I'm not sure what age the cutoff is for those, but I'm certainly willing to give it a try. Sebi. Thanks, Mums. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm not. I'll come around. Don't worry too much. Why are you smiling? Your wife just left you. For me. Thanks, Demetrius. I guess I should be going. Would you like me to walk you out, Mums? 
I guess I don't have a choice. Yes, let's go, shall we? Oh, look who's back. That was quick. I'm sorry, Mom. I've been too harsh on you. I love you too. You're not moving in with us. You're staying in your basement. Or I can make you a cage out in a field if you feel better, but I'm not feeding you. And where were you where all this was going on? You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know? Well, hello, sister. You can get pretty lonely up here in the mountains. Tell me about it. Is she an option? We'll find out. So how's the bachelor life treating you? How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? No, Demetrius. It's ginger season. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful working outdoors with plants all day. Honestly, mostly it's just been a lot of talk about wood lately. Your ex-wife says hi. Look at her. Standing in the corner staring at it. What kind of video games do I like? Uh, probably not any you're familiar with. So, none. Well, dating sims and old school text games actually. Most people who find out make fun of me. But how can you not like setting up one pigeon on a date with another? You're absolutely right. I love dating games. Wow, look at all the people. Where's everyone going? After the divorce, I thought it was all alone. But the people in the valley really came together to make me feel at home again. I've got a home. You can move right in now if you want. But something was still missing. A good friend like you. Yeah, that's what you're missing. That is a big piece of wood. Hey mumps, what are you doing out here? Oh, just admiring the local trees. It's a hobby of mine. You think you could give me a hand with this project I've been working on? Yes, if you'll help me with one of mine. Thanks, follow me. First, we need to cut a specific piece of wood. I'm nervous. Do I have to do anything? Oh, wait, here we go. I'll just be like 20 steps behind you. Are we done yet? What just happened? I'm so sorry, mumps. I don't know what happened. Did you cut me? I should have been more careful. Can you forgive me? Uh, yeah, forgive and forget. Just remember that I forgave you for this, and then you'll forgive me for what I'm about to do. Takes wrist. Are you sure you're okay? Your hand was nearly sawed off. Then don't take my wrist. A very professional carpenter. Can't imagine why your marriage didn't work out. Maybe you should go see Harvey, just in case. You are bleeding a little. I would think so if my hand was cut off. Make sure to get to Harvey's clinic before 3 p.m. today. Don't tell me what to do. I make the rules. Sew me up, doctor. I've got work to accomplish. So you were injured using a saw, is that right? Let's have a look here. I'm afraid your girlfriend will need to leave while I examine you. Dr. Harvey's getting frisky himself. How do you respond? Uh, we're not, um, well, it's okay if she stays. If she wants to, that is. Smoothest answer ever. Oh, sorry, Chuckles. Yeah. How about you be the doctor, and I'll be the social guy. I put some antiseptic on your cut, and you appear up to date on your vaccinations, so just keep a band-aid on it and you'll be fine. A band-aid. Apparently I almost lost my hand according to Robin, but all we needed was a band-aid. So what happened? Robin did this to me. It's all her fault. Technically it is. If she didn't ask me for help on her project, I mean, we wouldn't be here. If that is true, I suggest you keeping your distance from her, mumps. Let me know if you have any other issues. Otherwise, you're free to go. Wow, way to throw her under the bus literally right in front of the doctor. I'm really proud of myself. There's a saw-wielding maniac loose in Stardew Valley. But you should never give a ginger anything sharp anyway. You kind of owe me since you just cut my hand off, so... You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. Just leave my body parts intact, please. The Ten Heart events are always good. I'm looking forward to this one. Demetrius, you'll be happy to know I've made it official with your wife. We're dating. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? I mean, I'm probably growing some new kids pretty soon. Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. I feel like that would be productive for both of us, so thank you, please do. This is an evening, nighttime event, so I'm kind of curious to see what it has in store. I've always liked the later ones. Robin, did you put Linus's fire out? Well, at least he's not living in my house in this one. That's a long walk up. Hi mumps, I know it's a little cold out, but there's nothing like being up in the mountains at night. I've been wanting to show you what it's like for a while now. Don't worry, I'll get a campfire going so we don't freeze to death. Are we gonna hijack Linus's fire? Oh, we should have taken his. There we go. Great, you're a talented carpenter. If you're that close, I'm not sure we'll need a fire to stay warm. Nothing like a little friction to warm things up. As she steps back. After my divorce, I didn't think it was possible to love again. Not me, it's almost a daily cycle. And then you moved to town. The way you cared for your farm impressed me. Well, now she's just lying. 
And when you didn't need any work done in your farm, you still came by even if only to say hi. It wasn't only to say hi. Holds hands. You danced with me in the forest. No, I didn't. You comforted me when I was having issues with Sebastian. Also, no. And you nearly gave me a hand when you tried to help me with my woodworking project. Only required a band-aid. I love you, mumps. I like you too, carpenter. How do you feel? I love you too. From the bottom of my heart. For at least a few days. I think this is the beginning of something great. And nearly the end. Here, have some cocoa. I'll get us a couple of marshmallows to roast too. Meanwhile, Linus is lurking in his tent, watching us with his delicious food. Are you sure you want to be with me? A single mom with two kids and two marriages on my belt? Those are rookie numbers. Yes, you're incredible and beautiful. We'll make one big, mixed, happy family. For a little while, things are going to get really weird really fast. If I have a few more kids and Prismatic Shard them, will that also get rid of Sebastian and Maru? I hope so. I know this is kind of a bad day for a proposal, but you're kind of a bad person. I accept. I'll set everything up, we'll have the ceremony in three days, and I bet it'll be made out of wood. Haha, third time's a charm, right? Well, it didn't really work out for me. Did you hear the good news? She said yes. Greetings, stay inside if you want to keep warm. Actually, your ex-wife does a pretty good job of that, as I found out last night. I'm gonna be your new dad. Hey, sorry if I seem cranky, I'm a little bit sore from work yesterday. This is good. The kids are apparently all working. I had to sort out patient records for four hours straight. Four hours? I remember my first part-time job, uh, Robin's sister. The rain doesn't stop me from getting a job done, although soggy wood isn't a joy to work with. I'm not sure you're a real carpenter. Would you like to date? Um, I don't think so. Is it because I'm engaged to your sister? Because that's never really stopped me before. And I'm pretty sure Sebastian was just evicted out of town entirely. He went to live with his stepdad or whatever, so... Great. Well, here we are. This looks nice. Hey look, Sebastian even made it back to attend the wedding of his mom. Demetrius here too somewhere? Oh yep, he's here too. With Robin's sister. This whole thing's getting weird. I bet Demetrius is having a good time. I was mostly just expecting a large pile of wood. Just where I like her. Outside of my house. And also outside of time and space. Well this is boring. I need to do something with this room, don't I? I would. Make it nice, I'm kicking you out. Wait a sec. Why are you sleeping in that bed with Demetrius? Pretty good wedding, huh? The valley has a very vibrant and diverse ecosystem. That's one reason I was excited to move here. You're telling me, I marry about half of it. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider? Let me guess, something about wood? What do you think of planting a few more trees on the farm, mums? I love being surrounded by trees. What do you think about planting some trees on the farm? Do I look like a farmer? Maybe I get a little carried away when it comes to trees though. It's not fun to actually live in the forest. That's probably why you moved out of the house in the forest. Yeah, that would make sense to me. Now, you're probably too old for kids, but we're going to give this a try anyway. I guess in order to have kids, I probably need a kid-friendly house. Well, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised that you're not in that big of a hurry to have children, considering you banished your last one from Stardew Valley. The last day of fall? No kids. What's that about? I'm glad you and Sebastian are getting along. I wasn't sure he'd be okay with having another step-parent. 